Hello everybody, this is AG here and welcome to the Homestead Miami Speedway here on this lovely fine December evening. We are ready for the Miami Sprint here, ready to set the starting lineup for tomorrow's Florida 100K here on this mile and a half racetrack in Homestead, Florida. And we're excited to see how the first intermediate track of the season goes here in the Wawa Pro Series season number one. And we had an incredible race at Daytona last time out when Noah Clifton and William Brock were almost dead even at the line at the finish. We had a wreck. We thought the race ended a lap early. They apparently crossed the line before that wreck occurred and Noah Clifton got the advantage on William Brock. But coming into this race, William Brock does hold the points lead after two races. 31 points for William Brock coming in ahead of six points by ahead by six points ahead of Noah Clifton. They are in the number 21. Should be a fun race here. Of course, the starting order for the sprint race determined by the finishing results of the prior race. We all know that Noah Clifton won at Daytona. And of course, the fastest lap determines the starting positions for tomorrow's feature event. And of course, the top three finishers in this 14 lap sprint race will receive championship points. Noah Clifton and William Brock on the front row. Then we have Seth Cole and Thomas Troxel in row number two. Zach Winkle, Chris Reynolds in row three. Will Parrish and Nathan Faden in row number four. Logan Williams at the inside of Ethan Lewis there in row number five. Of course, the fast lap really could come from anywhere in the field. Jesse Turner has not had a good season. He's actually finished last in both feature events so far. Looking to turn that around a little bit here tonight at the Homestead Miami Speedway. So far coming into this race, only six drivers have failed to receive any championship points. Trey Wright, Vlad Prescott, Brandon Nelson, Zachary Fitzwater, Priya McShane, and of course, Jesse Turner, as I mentioned earlier on. Everyone else has received at least one championship point so far in the first two races of the season. There's 13 races left to go, still plenty of time for anybody to win this championship, so it should be interesting to see how it all goes down. We'll keep the fastest lap up there. As that will determine who wins the poll for tomorrow's feature event. And, of course, some points on the line here in this 14-lap event. This will be a short sprint race, too, because it's a fast race right here at the Homestead Miami Speedway. So we're going to be done in just a few minutes here. But Noah Clifton and William Brock went side-by-side to Daytona for the win last time out. Going to be side-by-side -side to start this one off here at the Homestead Miami Speedway. Even jump there for both lanes, but that inside should get the advantage into the corner just a little bit. These guys are going to fan out quite a bit, especially when they hit turn number three here on this lap. You got Seth Cole going to the inside of William Brock for second. Zach Winkle right behind there as well with the number three of Will Parrish. And Seth Cole going to dive bomb it to the inside of Noah Clifton. And Clifton going to get up in the marbles just a little bit, even though we haven't had any other races here. But that higher line... Doesn't tend to work out as well. Seth Cole, who won the sprint race at New Smyrna, is going to lead lap number one. After that first lap, the fastest lap going to Hunter Braxton, who's at the back of the field right now in that number one machine. Here comes Zach Winkle to the inside and Noah Clifton there for second. Bit of contact with the wall there for William Brock. Not exactly what you want to do. It might affect his uh, lap times here. Those guys on the inside lane are gonna, going to be getting the fastest times here on this lap. You got Winkle there. Logan Williams in the point position. Here comes Vlad Prescott in the eight, trying to get his first points of the season here. Zach Winkle with the fastest lap after lap number two. Logan Williams with a good shot at getting some more bonus points towards the championship here. Zachary Fitzwater up here as well in the number four machine. A hard hit there for Ethan Lewis. That's something we're going to see a lot of here in this uh, race weekend at Homestead. This guy is kind of overshooting the corner, hitting the outside wall off of both turn two and turn four. Zach Winkle going to take the lead away from Seth Cole, and he made that look easy. Vlad Prescott looking to take the podium position. He's also going to take the second quickest lap time, but Zach Winkle beat that lap time, and he's under 30 seconds for his fastest lap. So looking very strong right now for the number 12 machine. Zachary Fitzwater moving up here in the number four machine. What if you guys tapping that outside wall? One of those unique racetracks where that tends to happen. It's almost kind of like Darlington. You get those Darlington stripes only where at Homestead, not Darlington. That's where the finale will be for this uh, series, by the way, at Darlington. So that'll be a fun one once we get to that, whenever that'll be. <laughs> Should be a interesting final few laps here in this Miami Sprint, and it'll give us a bit of a taste of what tomorrow's race is going to be like. Of course, we will have pit stops in tomorrow's race. No pit stops in tonight's event. 
If we do end up with a caution here tonight, though, it will be a two-lap caution, since it is the sprint race. William Brock managed to get back on that inside lane. He just went to the top of the board. And how about Nathan Orman? He's been doing excellent in these sprint races, getting some good starting positions here for these events. Won the pole for New Smyrna, was runner-up in the fastest lap times at Daytona last time out. Christian Master has taken the ta uh, top position. He's right now third as well, looking to grab a bonus point towards the championship here. But that's a good run there for William Brock, who uh, probably feels he got a little wrong there at Daytona. Almost thought he had that race victory, but uh, we had an extra lap, and Noah Clifton took it away from him right at the end. We had a really close finish here, I think, when the Cup Series was here. Actually, the Cup Series was here a few years ago. We had a side-by-side -side finish. How about Jesse Turner going on the second? The outside starting positions are not particularly where you want to be here at Homestead. As you saw there at the start when William Brock kind of fell back, he did manage to find his way back inside the top five. The pole sitter for this race, Noah Clifton, has significantly fallen back. He's kind of midway through the field with an eighth fastest lap time right now. A good starting position, but he's now ninth. But, uh, still not exactly what he was expecting after starting on the pole position for this one. The battle for the lead here in this sprint race. Seth Cole looking to win his second sprint already this season, and he's going to take the lead away as William Brock looking to extend his points lead here tonight. If he can get around Christian Massey right here, that's going to be a bonus point towards the championship for him. I think we're going to start seeing these times kind of even off right here. Still seeing a couple guys get some times up there. Chris Reynolds up to seventh. Dan Park is in the eighth position. Logan Williams there in ninth. Of course, you got William Brock, Nathan Orman, third and fourth. Jesse Turner is second. And you got Seth Cole, who is leading this race, currently fifth. That's a great place to start for tomorrow night's feature if he can, in fact, hold on to that position. Logan Williams uh, has done very well in these sprint races. I believe he grabbed some points in the sprint race last week at Daytona. So we got a battle for the race lead right here. Zach Winkle on Seth Cole. It's been these two drivers pretty much duking it out this whole entire sprint race. Winkle's going to take it away from the number 24. Zach Winkle doesn't have a good time, though, on the board. 12th quickest right now for Zach Winkle, so Winkle's going to be going for the points right here. Yet William Brock there moving up to second. That's an extra point for Brock if he can pull that off. Got some other guys. How about Noah Clifton moving up into the fifth position right there? Good time for him. That's going to move a few guys a little bit further down. Hunter Braxton now in eighth. Nathan Faden in ninth there. Chris Reynolds in the top 10. And of course, any ties with the fastest lap will be broken by the finishing results of the sprint race. Here comes Logan Williams looking to put William Brock on the outside. Battle might be on for that last point. I think Zach Winkle might, might get this win. We got three wide right there. Seth Cole going to split William Brock and Logan Williams. Williams is going to go to second there. That's two points for him. And now that's going to open the door for Nathan Orman to possibly gain a point. William Brock now falling back, and it's not looking like he's going to get anything in terms of points here tonight in this Miami sprint. Hunter Braxton in the inside of Christian Master. Braxton's going to have a shot at some points. Orman in position to gain some points here tonight. Right behind the six of Logan Williams as they chase down Zach Winkle with two laps to go here in the Miami Sprint. It's looking pretty good for Christian Master to win the pole for the Florida 100K tomorrow night. Winkle a little wide off the corner, and wow, I think the five of, now 14 of Master, I think, ended up overshooting the wall. So our provisional pole sitter with some issues right there, and that almost caused a wreck. Now that would have ended the race, and uh, that's always what happens. You turn away for one second, Nathan Orman has taken it away from Zach Winkle. He's sixth quickest. Will Logan Williams, though, have a shot at this sprint win? And Orman's really high through the corner. This is far from over here at Homestead. Logan Williams still in the second position. He's got a nose to the inside of Nathan Orman here. Hunter Braxton might take the last point away from Zach Winkle. Logan Williams is not going to get to Nathan Orman. Orman is going to win the Miami Sprint. That's three points towards the championship. Logan Williams and Hunter Braxton with the podium. So it's Orman with three points, Williams with two points, and Hunter Braxton getting that last point. Last point, I should say. He came all the way from 23rd. He went up 
three pos or 20 positions, I should say, to get that point. It's a hard-earned point there for Hunter Braxton. But Orman gets the bonus point. Christian Master gets the pull. The Christian Master, Jesse Turner, William Brock, Logan Williams, Noah Clifton, Nathan Orman, Seth Cole, Hunter Braxton, Trey Wright, Nathan Faden, Chris Reynolds, Dan Park, Zach Winkle, Ryan Durrani, Nathan Stapleton, Brandon Nelson, Brennan Wilmington, Vlad Prescott, Zachary Fitzwater, Thomas Troxel, Priya McShane, Dylan Young, Will Parrish, and Ethan Lewis. The starting lineup for tomorrow night's event. It's Christian Master. Will be starting on the pole for tomorrow night's event. And Nathan Orman, who won the sprint race, so three points towards the championship. Him right there, Logan Williams will be getting two points, and Hunter Braxton will be getting one bonus point towards the championship. You see the starting lineup there. The official starting lineup. Should be an interesting one tomorrow. Going to be 42 laps for tomorrow's Florida 100K, and there will be a round of pit stops in the event as well, which will definitely shake things up for this third race of the season. Nathan Orman with the win. We'll see how the points are affected here in a moment. And we'll see you guys tomorrow night for the Florida 100K here in the Wawa Pro Series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to Nathan Orman and Christian Master for their respective victories. Of course, Orman with the race victory and Christian Master with the pole here in the Florida 100K. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I will see you guys later.